Well, good morning, everybody. My name's Andrew. You're watching the Kelly's Country Life. So it's looking like it's gonna be another beautiful and hot day here in Florida, but should be good working weather to knock this big balloon frame wall out. I'm ready to get it behind me, holy moly. This has been a long ongoing process. My back's sore, my feet are killing me. I'm tired of climbing up and down this scaffold. Thank goodness for that scaffold though. I don't know what I was thinking. There's no way I could have built this wall without this scaffold. I almost didn't get this the other day because the price had went up and I was like, I don't know if I want to spend the money. I had to get it, no way around it, or I'd be renting scaffold every day. And before you know it, I would have done paid in rental fees what I can own a scaffold for. So let me show you what we're working with today. I'm about to jump back on finishing this half of the wall and I call it half of the wall because it stops at that peak. We just got a couple more supports to put in up above that window header. Then this side is officially tacked in, we'll call it, because I've only got a few nails in each uh, stud strap. Although I did, uh, I forgot to show everybody this yesterday. I have been toenailing all the boards in along the way because they're still slop in there. If you don't, the straps help with uplift. The toenails will kind of still help with some shearing. So as long as the, uh, I mean, the straps do the same thing as well. But uh, having all that toe nailing along with straps just makes for a very strong wall. But I've still got to go back and put nails in all these straps. Top, bottom. Well, wait a minute. That would be top. That would be bottom. Yes. I'm not awake yet. And we've got to come outside and strap all the studs to the uh, top plates as well. That's, that's going to be interesting because I can't put scaffolding out here on the dirt. But... I've got something in mind for that that I've got to go pick up from a friend that's going to let me borrow something. And uh, we're going to knock all that out probably next week. I want to get this wall tacked in place today, give this roof truss some support. So should we get any bad weather or any kind of load on the roof, we now have a load bearing wall that's fully supporting the roof. And uh, it's just going to look better seeing everything in its proper place. I can come back next week and finish doing all the final nailing. Nothing to it but to do it. Let's get to work. Y'all didn't see that. All right, time for the most stressful part for me. Lifting this heavy, long double top plate. Wish me luck. Get in 
glad that's over with. For these studs that wind up with a twist in them, good old pop wrench. What a day. It is starting to look like something now. This is giving me a really good idea how it's gonna look in the living room since we're gonna be leaving that wall exposed and tall just like this. And this wall is absolutely massive. Oh boy, what a day. It has been extremely windy, if y'all can see by the trees out there. I've had a nightmare of a time trying to put the tape measure down, get my measurements, but it all worked out. I'm sure some people are gonna be like, hey, why didn't you do this? And I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, that probably would have been a good idea. I thought about dropping a plumb bob from up top, but I mean, just everything I could think of, the wind would mess up. Like I said, I bought a laser to kind of shoot from bottom to top. It will absolutely not work anytime there's sunlight out. Now I bought one of the brighter ones I could find with the green laser, doesn't seem to matter, but we got it knocked out. I mean, this wall is absolutely massive. You don't really get a good idea how big it is till you stand in front of it. So maybe that will give you a good idea of how big this wall is. So moving forward, I am nowhere near done. 
I have run out of nails, strapping nails. I've got a few thousand on the way, but they didn't show up today like they were supposed to. Shipping's been crazy here lately, and apparently Amazon Prime is not like it used to be. I can't get stuff in two days anymore. So I, I've got everything tacked in, nailed in, toe nailed in. No doubt this is a strong wall, not going anywhere and can support the roof. But I've still got to come back and do a lot of strap nailing top bottom. I've still got to put all my uh, hangers or straps outside. I have a lot left to do. Then I have to block this entire wall out. So still quite a bit of work to do here, but it looks and feels good to get to this point. Something y'all will enjoy. I'm heading over to a friend's tomorrow to pick up an attachment to go on the front of the tractor. It's gonna be pretty neat. I've yet to see it, but it's gonna help me out greatly on this wall right here. Sheathing and everything else is something I can borrow for quite a while. So I really appreciate him doing that. So we'll have something cool to show off. I also got a few more goodies in the mail today. I've been listening to y'all about some of the things that you've suggested and uh, some things that I need. So we're gonna have some upcoming episodes and somewhat of tool and equipment reviews coming up in another day or two once I can get a chance to put everything together, kind of show it off. So a lot left to do on this wall. We'll continue the uh, little several parts until we complete it. I've got to go ahead and build me a major lumber order, kind of dreading that for the other, uh, well, no, not the other wall. I have most of everything I need for the other wall, but I still need stuff like two by tens for the headers. And I'm gonna go ahead and build me a lumber order for all the interior walls, because just as soon as we get the other bloom frame wall knocked out, we move into interior walls. Hopefully they should go quick, nice, uh, lightweight two by four walls. Then we move to attic rafters and we'll go ahead and get those on the way. And uh, then we'll build the little stub walls, sheath, dry in. So, I mean, we're still a few weeks away from that, but we're making progress and moving toward it. Thank y'all so much for watching. Hopefully you've been enjoying it. So, how am I going to get that out of here? I kind of built a wall, and we have drop-offs everywhere else. 